transpiration in plants. We know that roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. But most of the water absorbed is lost in the form of water vapor into the air. This process is called transpiration. Let's learn about how transpiration takes place in plants. In plants, the water required is absorbed by the roots from the soil with the help of root hairs by a process called osmosis. The water is further transported upwards through the stems to the leaves through xylem, which acts as a pipeline. Xylem cells have thick walls. Water then enters in mesophyll cell through stomata. Stomata are openings on the leaf surface through which transpiration takes place. The stomata are surrounded by guard cells which help the stomata to open and close. Transpiration takes place during daytime when the stomata are open. Transpiration is also done through lenticels, which are minute openings on the stem. Lenticels are less in number compared to stomata. Transpiration also takes place from the leaf surface. Leaves are covered by a waxy layer of cuticle, which is called cuticular transpiration. The cuticle actually helps the leaf to reduce the amount of transpiration taking place. So from all this, we can conclude that transpiration in plants can be done by three types. First, through stomata. Second, through lenticels. And third, from the leaf surface. Transpiration is very important to plants as the transpiration pull helps water in rising to the leaves against the force of gravity. As the rate of transpiration increases, so does the rate of absorption of water. If transpiration is more than absorption, the plant will lose its turgidity and this will lead to drooping of leaves stems and flowers.